what did you start importing hair from Vietnam? Well, um, there are quite some basic steps in importing hair from Vietnam. So, um, firstly, you need to know the product you want. Yes. Yeah, once you already know what you want, you um, head down to finding a good supplier. Uh, when you get a good supplier, you make a deposit. After making a deposit, the supplier goes further to production. Then after the production, um, you can make a video call on Skype, on Zoom, on WhatsApp, you know, since you're not in Vietnam, yes. you know, for starters in Africa or in Nigeria. If you're not in Vietnam, you can make a, a video call and, you know, after production for you to see your product and the quality. Even though you can't, you know, foretell how uh, the texture of the quality is, but then when, when you see something that's good, you know. Yes. So once you make a video call, the um, supplier uh, proceeds with, um, you know, um, sending the shipments to the forwarders, um, like a carrier, yes. for the person to ship down to you. So it's it's just some basic steps. You know. yes. And uh, what's the uh, difficult um, when you just start um, find a new supplier, hair supplier in Vietnam? Okay, finding a, a hair supplier in Vietnam, you know, sometimes it's difficult because there are a lot of people on the internet, yes. you know, claiming to be suppliers, you know. So um, what you do when you get a supplier, you, you need to scrutinize, you know, find out how long the supplier has been in business, you know, the reviews, you know, the type of products they have, you know, how, um, how well and how fast they can ship or how fast the production is done, you know, so that's, that's it. And uh, normally my customer are scary that um, they don't believe in the supplier on the review on uh, on the hair they sold in the video yeah. in the video call. Yeah. Why why they don't believe in the reviews? Because you know some suppliers they they go extreme. Sometimes they pay people to give reviews, and most of the reviews you see on the internet sometimes are edited. Yes. Right. Some suppliers can go pay some um, beauty care or some other people, you know, just for them to, you know, promote yes. the brand, you know, so you as a customer, you feel, oh, this company has a good review. And for me, sometimes I don't tend on the reviews because if you get to, if you get a supplier and you see only good reviews, sometimes I feel skeptical about it because you just don't have good reviews. Sometimes I feel cool going for some suppliers that has bad reviews, you know, because every business you must be criticized, yes. right? So it's, it all depends on, you know, how you can, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Uh, about the uh, delivery, uh, we have many uh, methods to delivery, like uh, agents or ESL or UPS Express. Um, what did you choose for the first time buying hair from Vietnam? Well, um, the first time I got hair from Vietnam, like, you you have to you need to have a confidence in your supplier because before you do business with somebody somebody you're going to entrust your money with you know you need to believe so and the supplier on the other hand needs to you know guide you through the shipping process because definitely they are in the business already so they know the shippers they know the right um, shipping company or the agent to you know work with so if if you're in Africa like in Nigeria, they have quite some agents in Nigeria that lives in Vietnam. Yes. But the business they do is shipping their shippers, right? So sometimes you can use DHL, UPS, but the charges for DHL and UPS is quite on the high side. You know what I mean? Yes. So you just have to work with a good supplier, um, a supplier, that's all. Your supplier will advise you on how to go about the shipping. Yes, okay.